Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India lecture from the fourth module. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the different class system, uh, caste wise sections and segmentations uh, that caused a definite change in the augmentation of uh, the images as far as their art practice uh, were concerned in Madhubani. Uh, in this lecture, I am going to focus on a different aspect which is connected at the same time uh, slightly separated uh, with that con from that context. Uh, the reason is that while we spoke about the class wise uh, divisions that give birth to many different distinctive um, and prominent styles in the tradition. Uh, this is also true that those barriers are uh, removed to a large extent in today's context and there are painters who are practicing uh, the style of Madhubani painting uh, freely with um, lots of creative freedom uh, and that is one reason why they are not restricted to a particular community. There are painters who do not even belong to uh, the family of the Madhubani painters, but they have taken up this uh, art form as the regular mode of expression. So, there is a change in uh, the quality of living and the quality of creation and that is also quite significant in that context. Uh, this is also true that uh, when it got shifted uh, from its traditional cultural happening, uh, like uh, Earlier, it was a tradition that only the women of the families would paint the pictures and the male members, especially a young male, uh, they used to help them out to some extent, but they were mostly engaged into agricultural uh, practices. But when the male members of the community, they took up art as a tradition, the things have changed. And now, when we visit the galleries, uh, and art exhibitions, we see that there is a free flow of uh, creative interests uh, regardless of the um, identities of those people, whether um, which um, community they belong to, which caste they belong to and which is very positive whether the male or female. So, it has got a very different uh, image altogether. So, I will show a few images to you just to give you some idea of how it is. Uh, and also speak about it. So, with the introduction of paper as a medium, a small but growing number of men from the community have taken up painting as their profession. Some male artists from the family of tantric priests paint avatars of Vishnu, Shiva and Shakti. They paint yantras, the transcendent tantric pattern corresponding to those figures. They paint images from Ramayana, Mahabharata, Harishchandra, Shakuntala alongside the current topics like the chronicle of a murder in the village that indicates its responsiveness to the social issues which is more urban. Seen in the picture is a gallery space where the artists of Madhubani are displaying their pictures together in a flow. Krishnanand Jha, a tantric kalakar of 1980s, worked on the complex geometrical formations of Yantra. He continues to work on the mythological episodes uh, also and uh, alongside the mythological subject matters, he is concentrated on the most current topics as a reaction to what is happening around him, which is very secular, contemporary and modern as expression. At the same time, he is 
uh, strictly adhering to some of the traditional style of execution that is very typical of Madhubani. So it's uh, very easy to identify his work uh, as Madhubani painting and there is no other scope that you can call it any other thing but a Madhubani painting. Though the subject matters are radical and very, very um, leaving uh, and uh, timely. Gopal Saha worked on the local scenes in a perplexed, humorous style. He used a lot of sarcastic images, uh, humors, caricatures, but he followed the style of Madhubani uh, very authentically. Dushi, the artist Sarup Lal Paswan began painting images from the adventures of their cultural hero Raja Salesh. Raja Salesh is a, a local hero from the border of Nepal and he is the one who had a forbidden garden that he owned. Raja Salesh was blessed with his beloved brother Motiram and both these characters they rode on a horse and an elephant respectively and they are the owner of a beautiful enchanted garden where uh, they had the marlins or the gardeners throughout and there are parrots called Hira Sugavan who sings beautiful songs so it gives us the picture of a perfect utopian condition where everything is perfect and beautiful and uh, prosperous. So uh, these are the factors that are seen in their creations and of course the artwork where King Salhesh and the related characters are involved, uh, they are far beyond the normal academic representational styles uh, that went parallel to it. Uh, so, there are also other painters which are uh, like the male painters uh, who are very, uh, they, they worth a mentioning like Santosh Kumar Das, a habitat of Ranti uh, village uh, which is, there are two main villages in Madhubani called Jitwarpur and Rati. So, he belongs to the place called Rati in Madhubani in the Mithila region in North Bihar. And he studied painting at the MS University, Baroda. So he went under the uh, mainstream uh, academic uh, education. Uh, but then he explored Madhubani painting to express a wide range of subjects of his choice. This effort stands quite significant, adding a due, new dimension to move the tradition furthermore. He was appointed as the director and primary instructor at the Mithila Art Institute, Madhubani, in 2004. In the newer generation artists, a very talented and creative person who is still very young, uh, his name is Ram Bharoz Cha, who has also um, involved uh, himself with lots of uh, illustration projects for um, the eminent publishers. Uh, he is illustrating um, pictures in those books along with his self-expression where he is uh, coming up with highly creative and original expression following the style of painting from Madhubani. So, his experimentation and uh, free thinking made some mark. Uh, in the tradition to observe the men practicing Madhubani style of painting have a freer choice of subject matters as compared to the painters which are who are women. Uh, for the women painters they are still uh, continuing with some religious subject matters and many of them who are slightly younger they are um, still practicing some uh, images which are highly radical and there are feminist themes that are also coming to the pictures and we are going to uh, see and discuss all those things in the following lectures in greater detail. So, the male members of the community joined the profession only after the introduction of paper as we mentioned. The main stay away from painting 
the walls and uh, indulging in floor paintings and other rituals. So for them, that's not a compulsion, and they never uh, did it uh, traditionally. And cobra or the cosmological icons or the aripans. So those are the traditional decorative forms that was very popular in Madhubani. Uh, they uh, n uh, no longer uh, stick to those things, but uh, of course the women member they are still continuing with that. Uh, but many of the male members are experimenting with the uh, traditional cover motif by uh, picking up the essential decoration of it and rendering it in a uh, different direction. Uh, so the cover cosmological icons and aripan, so the floor and wall decorations. Uh, they are also in the scene with a different rendition, main work on secular subjects uh, and also the political issues. Uh, they respond and express their reactions to the current happenings to a large extent. So they also have uh, folk tales, moral stories and other literary resources to include in their subject matters. Nevertheless, their paintings have strictly uh, added to the traditional style and identity and blamed suitably in the general uh, general uh, continuum of Mithila painting tradition being a uh, being uh, initially a feminine preserve although the new generation women painters are also showing inclination towards a similar choice of subject to the men the men were uh, innovative since the beginning and have contributed uh, commonly to the rapid growth to uplift the tradition and bring it to a different uh, direction. Uh, there is one factor that we cannot completely deny that when the men painters they realized the um, monetary factor that this particular painting tradition is able to uh, generate more monetary sources, uh, they got drawn into it in the beginning. They felt that this is a great source of income and this is much more profitable um, than the uh, agricultural practices. So many of them, they have completely moved from uh, the agrarian professions and they are into making paintings and uh, they are training themselves in that style, uh, just keeping the prospects in mind. While about 10 women have received state or national awards over time, the village based male painters seem to have been precluded from this honour. Ironically, two male Mithila painters recently received national award, but both are based in New Delhi. But then it is certainly the women of Madhubani who solely held the tradition for years, seamlessly and for no material benefit in mind. They deserve the credit to maintain the simplicity of their beautiful minds to stick to their faith despite the apparent difficulty and hardship of their daily livelihood. So, the rewards are well deserved. According to David Santon, Rambharos is very creative. Rambharos Jha is one of the uh, most talented male painter in Madhubani in today's time, who is constantly into uh, experiments. Recently, he worked on collages by cutting his own paintings into different areas to create a surrealistic image. The painting that is shown at the background has images which are very new and the researchers are extremely excited about the innovative initiatives by the traditional painters of new generation who is providing the uh, practice with a new profile. In this painting, 
by Ram Bharos Ja, what we see is that he painted two pictures and then by combining two different pictures, he has created a dreamlike space which is a underwater scene that has a surrealistic uh, approach towards it. So, it is a difficult and complex juxtaposition of different forms that are traditionally found in Madhuvani painting, but the arrangement is unique and free. And it is also very encouraging to see how the pictorial elements are being uh, experimented by these painters. The entire picture has thin and intricate linear pattern into it that has an extremely uh, decorative possibility. At the same time, the painting is so expressionistic and surreal in its character that it hardly looks decorative in our eyes. Rambharosha with his contemporary paintings in an exhibition space. There are a few very important things that uh, needs to be realized by us when we look at Indian folk and minor painting into the academic uh, limelight. Uh, we see that if we take uh, things in that perspective, it gives us a notion that it is in a constant mode of change and it is our duty again to assess whether the change has to be taken uh, in the right spirit or should be prevented. Uh, the reason I am making all these points are that there are cases where there are comments like when the uh, like it, it has been a feminine preserve for so many years. So, what is the uh, need to include the male painters into the practice who uh, is contaminating the practice to some extent they are bringing new subject matters uh, which is uh, killing the traditional aesthetics and uh, it, it's putting us away from the pleasure of the painting. So, these are some uh, comments made by uh, people who are not well informed and uh, they are also ignorant about the basic ideologies of uh, cultural growth um, that uh, is like that should be appreciated by uh, the community when there is a change that is taking place. And this is perhaps the mode of uh, survival or that, that is enjoyed by a traditional culture. So, the culture sustains and survives with the change that takes place here. And uh, when we feel that uh, it is not changing over a long period of time, then it is indicative of its uh, physical uh, death and it also kills its soul to um, a complete uh, extent. So, uh, this is also true for the traditional um, culture. Um, for example, when we look at Egyptian painting that remained unchanged for years because of the strict norms, uh, because of the rules, the canons that were imposed on the community, they could not change. It just happened for a short duration. If we make a comparative study with the traditional culture, the traditional uh, culture that enjoyed royal patronage, we see a complete different scene that they are highly stylized, they also did not stick to the representational norms, but it is also true that there had been a small period when uh, a king like Akhenaten who takes over and he was slightly liberal for uh, Akhenaten's uh, uh, influence caused some change to took place uh, to take place in the tradition. And immediately after him, Tutankhamen took over. And with Tutankhamen, it was also very evident that he wanted to um, go back to the earlier tradition and he just felt that everything is uh, almost over. So, it is time to revive the old tradition. They again went back and the tradition remained very rigid, although um, it is very rich, but it is very rigid and conservative in that form. And uh, in a way, when we look at the uh, painting tradition in our country uh, and for example, we, we used uh, Madhubani as the feminine preserve and then it moved uh, towards another practice that is dominated by the male painters in today's time. 
uh, it's very interesting to see that it, it never enjoyed a patronage of any sort. They are just surviving on their own and this is also a great matter of pride that with such uh, minimum patronage it could survive and come along uh, a very long way uh, because of its uh, initial virtue of its rich aesthetics, the cultural uh, connection that they made with the from the thematic aspect of those paintings and also because of a rich tradition uh, that was responsible for it. So, the new face, the new profile of Madhubani painting must be very different, but it is also uh, a great matter of concern that we should also see that the huge popularity for uh, such a tradition should not make it repetitive. So, if people are over conscious about what should be the flow of history that can also make it highly stagnant. Uh, to make it very simple, we know that when we look at the commercial viability of a particular um, image making, uh, it no longer remains an artistic creation, it becomes a product and uh, then it may also lead to uh, a stage where it is treated as a commodity. So, uh, making anything in visual style uh, that is folk or minor in their uh, visual characteristic does not make it a successful piece of folk art. It should have the right soul and expression in it uh, to convey the idea and that way the tradition can go long with utter strength and dignity and that is our aim. So, we need to also develop a finer eye and uh, we should be well informed to realize that and then look at it from a um, uh, right perspective.